The Midlothian family is reaching out to the CBS 6 problem solvers, hoping to protect their son and their neighbors from what they say is a very dangerous intersection in their neighborhood. They tell our Caroline Colburn they've had multiple close calls. She joins us now to share their concerns and VDOT's response. Caroline. Well, Rob, on the roadway, if a driver has a green light and the pedestrian also has the cross sign, the pedestrian legally has the right of way. But the Kohler family says that's not happening here and they're worried someone's going to get hurt. At the intersection of Genito Road and Brander Mill Parkway. A lot of people have said that it is a dangerous intersection. This crosswalk says go. Wait to cross. At the same time, this stoplight turns green. People see green, go, and they don't pay attention that there is somebody standing there. It's something Debbie Kohler says is causing issues for those who love running and walking in Brandermill, including her 14-year-old son, Samuel. He has been almost hit multiple times. Samuel, who prefers the nickname Shades, was born with a rare visual impairment called achromatoxia. Oh He's legally blind. He can't even see when it says to go. He can't see the hand. Um, so he has to just hold on to that button and it tells him when to go. It'll, it has a steady beep and once it, the beep gets super fast, it's telling you to go. The Kohlers don't let Shades run by himself because of the fact drivers often don't stop at the intersection. But just a few weeks ago when he was on a run with his sister, the crosswalk told them it was safe to go, but she had to pull him back from the intersection because someone ran and almost hit him. And um, I was actually really angry. The Kohlers knew they needed to do something. So they took to social media, hoping to reach drivers and remind them pedestrians have the right of way. I would like drivers to know that there could be someone coming out of the corner anytime and not like anywhere. Within a few hours of the video being posted to Instagram. I was like, holy crap, it has 10,000 views. This is going to be good because maybe people will notice. It now has nearly 20,000 views and the Kohlers also reached out to VDOT to see if anything could be done. They called me back the next morning and uh, they were like, we're going to come out there and check and make sure everything is working properly and it wasn't. So they fixed a few things with the crosswalk. VDOT told the Kohlers and CBS 6 they're working to make the intersection safer by relocating the existing pedestrian crossing sign for better visibility, installing a right turn yield to pedestrian sign near the stoplight and giving pedestrians a three to five second head start before the light for drivers turns green. I'm just grateful. I was in tears when he talked to me because he just sounded very concerned and um, listened and wanted to problem solve. As Shades continues his weekly runs, Wait to cross. he hopes he soon won't have to worry about drivers along one part of his route. But he and his family also want people across the country to slow down and watch out behind the wheel. It'll make the world a lot safer if people just pay attention. <laughs> Now, VDOT tells me the signs they plan to install here are not common signs that they just have on hand, so it might take a few weeks to get those up. But they say that three to five second delay here at the crosswalk should be installed within the next two weeks. Working for you in Chesterfield County, I'm Caroline Colburn, CBS 6 News. Let's hope it helps. Thank you, Caroline. Another Supreme Court opinion has been released.